Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. From wherever you are watching me from, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is. I'm still here in at uh, in the Holy Land of Kiveho. And uh, now I'm somewhere that uh, may not be particular at Kiveho at the apparitions ground, but this place but this place has a special connection with the apparitions of Chiveho. And many of you have come here, you know what I'm talking about. That is the Divine Mercy Center Kena. Divine Mercy Center Kena here in Nyarushishi. So this is a wonderful place that has a, the biggest image, most probably the biggest image of the Divine Mercy in the whole world. The most biggest, tallest image of Jesus of Divine Mercy in the whole world. And probably we shall be there shortly. But I want to welcome you in this wonderful place of retreat of meditation. There are also facilities here where you come and lodge in case you want to come and spend more time here. There are wonderful apartments, uh, hotel apartments, great accommodation facilities run by Father Laszek from Poland. So they are, this center is run by, I think, Marian priests from Poland. And it's a, such a beautiful center with great places of prayer. So I want to move with you shortly to a one to a beautiful place that I want you to to see. Amen. So my dear brothers and sisters, I continue to encourage you to pray, and I continue to encourage you never to give up, and to continue holding on to your rosaries, and uh, with with Jesus and our dear Mother Mary, we shall not go wrong. Amen. So no matter what's happening in our lives, they still care for us. Hallelujah. Praise God. So let's just move sh shortly. This is a, a pathway that you are seeing on my video to the wonderful chapel of St. Michael the Archangel. Behind there, you may not go there today, but one time when I come with you, because every year we'll bring thousands and thousands of pilgrims to visit this wonderful place of Christendom, of wonderful place of prayer. So one day I will come with you and we go to the chapel of St. Michael. But now I will take you this side. As you move with me, you can see. That's a bit of drizzling, but we shall endure. Because even the Bible says that even when the rains came, this guy did not give up. The house did not fall. So even amidst the rain, we will move. And now we are coming to this beautiful center. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. I hope you can begin to see it. Such a wonderful place. You can see. And here, before we go the other side, here you can see the Star of David. Wonderful Star of David that led the, the Magi to, to behold Jesus in the Manja. So, my dear brothers and sisters, we are here. Hallelujah. Praise God. We are here. And you can enjoy this beautiful scene. This beautiful scene. Beautiful scene. You can enjoy it and uh, you begin to move into an atmosphere of prayer. Wow. Wow, wow. And maybe I may come closer here so that you may see. Yeah, you see here. Yes. Wow, wow. So my dear brothers and sisters, what you are seeing here is the nativity scene. For, for, for many of you who are Catholics, you know what I'm talking about. The nativity scene. Before Christmas, in many churches, we erect such things in our churches as a depiction of what happened on the day when Jesus was born. Amen. So as you can see, you see Jesus here in the manja, the baby Jesus on after being born and he has been placed in a manja. Yes. And then our lady, our dear mother Mary and Saint Joseph are beholding this little boy. They are in awe. They are adoring this little boy. In Jesus, they are they are adoring their son. 
they 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 are in love with their son amen and that's and the prophecy of zechariah maybe i may go there amen the prophecy of zechariah is fulfilled at this very moment hallelujah praise god hallelujah praise god oh dear jesus baby jesus we love you so much we would want to also behold you like your mother and your father beheld you we would want also to adore you with purity of heart like your parents did the magi the shepherds we would want also to acknowledge you as our lord in a very special way dear jesus thank you jesus let's read the book of zechariah of zechariah of zechariah chapter 2 verse 10 zechariah chapter 2 verse 10 as i explain to you what you are seeing here Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Fill us with your love. Fill us with your peace, Jesus. Fill us with your joy. Fill us, O oh Lord, with your gifts and and, and uh, graces, O oh dear Jesus. Fill our family with, with joy. Fill our families with peace. Zechariah chapter 2, verse 10. Zechariah chapter 2 verse 10 and it says Zechariah chapter 2 verse 10 Amen. Thank you Jesus Thank you Lord Thank you Lord Thank you Jesus 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 So my dear brothers and sisters here is the nativity scene, the, depicting the, the birth of Jesus to this world. Amen. And when Jesus has been born into this world, he has come with great joy for us. He has come with great joy for humanity. Amen. So my dear brothers and sisters, there is no more mourning. There is no more wailing. There is no more crying. The Savior has been born to, to this world. Jesus has come to this world. And he has come to give us peace. He's the Prince of Peace. And that's what Zechariah prophesied in Zechariah chapter 2, verse 10. And we read. Zechariah chapter 2, verse 10, we read. Amen. The Lord God, the Lord said, Zechariah chapter 2, verse 10. The Lord said, Sing for joy, people of Jerusalem. I'm coming to live among you. Zechariah chapter 2, verse 10. The Lord said, Sing for joy people of Jerusalem I'm coming to live among you Amen Can you imagine that wonderful prophecy The Lord is saying sing for joy Sing for joy People of Jerusalem For I'm coming to live among you Sing for joy people of Kampala Sing for joy people of Kigali Sing for joy people of Nairobi Sing for joy people of Europe, of America People of China Sing for joy people of Asia Sing for joy Amen that despite all that you are going through, despite the pandemics you are going through, despite all the family challenges you are going through, despite all your weaknesses, despite every all your faults, all your failings, despite your the sicknesses and diseases disturbing you, despite your poverty, despite your joblessness, despite your marriage failure, despite all the humiliations and setbacks and misfortunes you are going through, despite this world that is that is that is that is not that you can't understand despite all the burdens in this world the lord is saying sing for joy amen so my dear brothers and sisters when we have jesus in our hearts we need not to panic we need not to worry amen those who are worried those who are panicking those who are troubled those who are fearful and untention have no jesus in them so my dear brothers and sisters whoever you are watching me from if you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, if you believe in Jesus, then there is no need to worry. Amen. And you remember that wonderful song of that I think is sung by Kirk Franklin. Amen. That we don't need to worry. Amen. For the Lord is with us. Hallelujah. Praise God. So the Lord has been born to us. As you can see here in this wonderful depiction of the nativity of the birth of Jesus. Amen. So the Lord who promised to us in Zechariah chapter 2 verse 10 that do not be worried, do not be troubled. I am coming to live among you. He is here with us. 
maybe if you feel that that you have, that you are, you are not feeling his presence if you feel that you are not feeling his touch if you feel you are not feeling his consolation i pray that through this video his consolation may come back to you his loving touch may come back to you he may come and embrace you he may come and console you that you may feel his presence at all times in your life in your marriage in whatever you do amen so when the zechariah makes a prophecy the prophecy gets fulfilled because the lord says in joshua chapter 24 verse 45 that notice any single promise that was made upon the house of joshua none of them went unfulfilled that every promise that the lord made to the house of joshua to your house to your life bible says that none of them went unfulfilled each and every prophecy was fulfilled so what we what we see as a prophecy in the book of zechariah chapter 2 verse 10 it is now fulfilled in the book in the gospel according to saint luke chapter 2 verse 10 so the 2 verse 10 of the old testament is fulfilled in 2 verse 10 in the new testament and that's what i want to read right now with you as you continue to enjoy this wonderful nativity scene yes lord thank you jesus thank you lord thank you jesus gospel of saint luke chapter 2 verse 10 and thank you jesus thank you lord thank you jesus thank you jesus Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Gospel St. Luke, chapter 2, verse 10. I'm trying to get it here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We love you, dear Jesus. Amen. So you can see. Chapter 2, verse 10, it says, but well, let me start from verse 8. It says, There were some shepherds in that part of the country who were spending the night in the fields, taking care of the flock. Amen. So these shepherds in the night they were in the field. In the night it should be a time of sleeping, a time of of, uh, of relaxation, a time of receiving that comfort, that warmth of the bed. But these shepherds are in, are busy in the fields taking care of their sheep. What humble people these are! These are people who have been confined to the to the to, 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 who have been confined to the extremes of of society. Amen. In the night they are busy in the in the coldness Amen. busy in the coldness of the night others are resting others are having good time with their families but these people who have who are being despised who whom the world has forgotten are the ones who are going to receive such great news amen so we read that there were some shepherds in that part of the country who are spending the night in the field is taking care of the of the flock and verse 9 the angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone over them. They were terribly afraid. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. Verse 10. I'm here with, with good news of you, for you. Do not be afraid. I'm here with good news for you, which will bring great joy to all the people. This very day in David's town, the Savior was born, Christ the Lord. Amen. So you can imagine, these people have been forgotten by society these people who have been rejected by the society who are at the confines of society amen maybe i don't know what you are going through maybe you're also going through a rejection maybe you are despised maybe you think that this world is not serving you well maybe you think that you are really struggling in this world like the shepherds who are really in the in the outside there in the cold Maybe you are going through coldness in prayer. Maybe you think that the world is not valuing you. Amen. But I want to assure you that when the angel came to proclaim this wonderful news, to tell the world that the Savior has been born to the world, he did not go anywhere. He did not go to the cities. He did not go anywhere. He went to the shepherds, the most humble people. Amen. My dear brother, my dear sister, in the state that you are living, in the place where you are no matter how humble circumstance i mean the, the humble circumstances of your life the lord will come and meet you there amen maybe you are earning little money the apartment where you are staying is not good whatever it, whatever you are doing maybe it's not good you are struggling but what happens verse 9 we read that the end of the lord appeared to them and the glory of the lord shone over them they were terribly afraid so the lord is saying and especially our dear Jesus here is saying he's coming to meet you wherever you are in whatever state you are in whatever state you are 
no matter how you have been disguised no matter how you have been forgotten by the world by your family by your work your workmates maybe your employer is not promoting you despite all the work you are doing you are still down there at the ladders i can assure you believe in jesus through and trust in the intercession of our dear mother mary what will happen is this and that is verse 10 which says that great news of great joy are coming to you so that's what verse 10 says they were terribly afraid but the angel said to them do not be afraid so my sister my brother do not be afraid in whatever circumstance that you are going through in whatever situation that you are going through do not be afraid amen then bible says i am here with good news then the angel tells the shepherds that he is here with good news and even me who has been sent by god for this pilgrimage to keep our holy land and i'm now bring it to you live bringing it to you virtually i have been sent by god and i am telling you that i have brought good news for you which will bring great joy to you verse 10 amen so my dear brothers and sisters the savior has been born to us in the town of david and that is our jesus here that you see hallelujah we love you our dear jesus we worship you our dear jesus we know we are not worthy to worship you we are not worthy to, to adore you we are not worthy to come in and be in your presence but oh lord we ask for your pardon and mercy psalm 24 verse 1 and 2 tells us that in what state should we come to the presence of god and i want to read it before i continue to make a prayer with you so we are here before the lord and you can see how mary and joseph are beholding the lord are worshiping the lord are in the presence of the lord how sweet it is when you are in the presence of the lord my dear brothers and sisters everything else even if it fails as long as you are with the lord everything is perfect the peace you feel is more than anything can can happen to you that's what david says in psalm 84 david in psalm 84 from verse 9 and 10 he says that i would rather be a beggar in the house of the lord i mean he says i would rather be a watchman standing at the gate of the temple of the lord standing at the doors of the temple of the lord at the house of the lord than living comfortably in the bungalows amen of sinners so the best experience that i and you need is being in the presence of god but what we need to do to be in the presence of god bible says as i read with you here psalm 24 psalm 24 says amen thank you jesus thank you lord thank you jesus thank you jesus psalm 24 psalm 24 hallelujah praise god hallelujah praise god hallelujah praise god psalm 24 from verse 3 and it says who has the right to go up to the lord's hill psalm 24 from verse 3 and it reads who has the right to go up to the lord's hill amen thank you jesus thank you lord thank you jesus who has the right to go up to the lord's hill who may enter his holy temple verse 4 those who are pure in, in act and in thought who do not worship idols and make false prophets and make false promises the lord will bless them and save them god will declare them innocent such are the people who come to god who come into the presence of the god of jacob i hope you have had that wonderful psalm so we need to, re to really repent of our sins at this very moment if you are watching this video right now begin to repent of your sins begin to feel sorry for your sins and i can assure you the presence of god will come back to you and you can imagine what a wonderful life what a wonderful experience you feel when you are before the lord as you can see here the magi the shepherd is the video i'm trying to show you through the video the shepherd is here with the, with the lord surrounding the presence of god Amen. and then the magi this side the magi the three wise men Amen. here behind with their camels and everything they are all kneeling down bowing down for the lord as the bible says in in uh, in Philippians chapter 2, verse 6, that at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee shall bend, shall bow. Amen. So, my dear brothers and sisters, begin to repent of your sins in a very special way as you ask special graces from the Lord, from this wonderful Jesus that has been born to us and who has come to give us great, great joy. I remember when Our Lady appeared in Chibeho, she said, As for you, families that are going through problems as for you families that are going through challenges when she appeared in 
in Jireho. She said, do not be troubled. Come to, uh, to, she said, do not be troubled, but surrender every trouble that you are going through in your family to the Holy Family of Nazareth. My dear brothers and sisters, what you are seeing here is the Holy Family of Nazareth, of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. So my dear mother, when she appeared in this Holy Hill, she said, as for you have going, who are going through family problems, do not be afraid. Surrender all your family problems, all your trials in your families, amen, the marital problems to the Holy Family of Nazareth. And I also want to use this opportunity to give to everybody who, who is single, single, this, who is seeing what you are searching you want to set in holy matrimony but you are yet to get the partner the right partner or you have got him but things are not yet working out well you have got her things are not yet working out well or even you are together living together as as man and woman but you are not yet married in church and there's no holiness in your family in your relationship amen so i want to give this very moment to you to cry before jesus here and the holy family as our lady told us so that you may experience that healing, that love, you may receive that grace, you may receive that blessing. Oh dear God, we want to thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to come and see such a wonderful depiction of what happened when you were born into this world, when you came with great news of great joy. And we want to surrender our lives to you, oh dear Jesus. You has come to save the world. May you save us from sin. May you save us from addictions. May you save us from curses, from bondages. May you save us from all that we go through that is not from you. Sicknesses, rejections. May you save us, oh Lord, from being despised by, by everybody. Save us from every wound that we have in our hearts. Save us from all the broken relationships. Save us, oh Lord. Oh dear Mother of God, when you appeared in Shireho, you said that any problem that we have in our families, we should surrender to the Holy Family of Nazareth. And here we surrender all the problems that we have in our families, all the trials that we are going through. We beg for your support, oh dear Holy Family of Nazareth, of Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. My dear brother and sister, whoever is watching, pray passionately for your family at this very moment. And I can assure you something is going to happen to your family. So many of you have asked me to pray for your families, but now I give you an opportunity to do it yourself. Please pray for your families, those who are seeing, those who are searching, those who are staying together, cohabiting. Pray for the grace of holy matrimony so that your family may be, as, may be holy like the holy family of Nazareth. our Lord. Amen. May the Holy Family of Nazareth continue to pervade your family with great love. May the Holy Family of Nazareth pray for our families, pray for our spouses, our wives, our husbands, our children. They are born. Jesus, you are born in such a peaceful way. May every mother that is expectant, may all your women who are expectant, oh dear, Jesus, be granted a peaceful delivery whatever they are. May those who have lost their little ones through delivery, especially some of my friends in, the, in this week, two of them have lost their dear ones during delivery. Oh dear God, oh dear Holy Family, especially our dear Jesus and our Mother Mary, may you console your children. May you give them back that joy. May whatever they have lost be restored to them a million times because it's possible to do it, oh dear God. Give them more, many more children later on, oh dear Jesus. Bless every expectant mother Oh dear Jesus, bless every expectant mother. Oh dear Jesus, thank you dear mother. Thank you dear Jesus, thank you dear Saint Joseph. We entrust all our families to you, oh dear Holy Family of Nazareth. With all the problems going through our families, all the unconversion, many people in our families are not converted. They don't know Jesus, they don't know you, oh dear mother Mary. We are not praying the rosaries in our families as we should. We surrender all these weaknesses to you, oh Holy Family of Nazareth. We do not have our Lord as number one in our families as it should be. May you give us the grace, Holy Family, to have our, our Lord God as number one in our families. Bless all our children, O oh dear Holy Family of Nazareth. 
that our children will grow up like the young Jesus who grew up in obedience to the parents and who grew up, grew up in wisdom and knowledge for dear Holy Family of Nazareth. I entrust all the families that have asked me to pray for them to you, oh dear Jesus, especially those who are having problems, I mean, having childless marriages, childless marriages, they are married together, but they are lacking children, they are praying for children, but nothing is happening, and even those who have been, been able to conceive, but they are fearing that they may miscarry, all those ones, I entrust them to you, oh dear Mother Mary, because you did not miscarry Jesus, but you had your, your son to the last. I mean, you you had that pregnancy, and, and at, at the right time, you brought this wonderful child to the whole world. May all the expectant mothers carry their children peacefully in their wombs, and at the right time, bring them to this world in peace and joy. And may their, and may their sons and daughters be, be men and women of influence in this community. Thank you, dear God. We love you, dear God. Thank you. So my dear brothers and sisters, I'll just give you one more moment to say your final prayer to this wonderful holy family of Nazareth and enjoy such a wonderful atmosphere. And I know one time you'll come here and have such an experience. As I told you, this is not idol worship, but through these wonderful images, we see Father Amen. These are icons that are windows to the soul, that are windows of graces. Like our Lord asked Moses to erect two angels, the shadow beams, on top of the covenant box. It was not those that they were worshipping, but they were representing what was far beyond what they were seeing. So here I give you the last opportunity to experience such love through such, such wonderful icons. And glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus.